Friends, another interesting video. In Jesus' name, loose, 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 loose. SDA female pastor in Africa tells why the SDA church can't cast demons. Why can't we cast out demons? Really? She also said that if you talk about casting demons in the SDA church, some Adventists think you are becoming Pentecostal. In fact, when you talk of deliverance prayers in this church, people think you are Pentecostal. And also, friends, Adventist Health defended their act of promoting LGBT on their Twitter page. How could they do that? We are going to talk about all these. So if you are interested, I will encourage you to watch this video to the end and be sure to like subscribe and share with friends all right now let's get into it friends a well-known sda female pastor in africa in one of her sermons shared her view on why the sda church can't cast demons it is the same question we need to ask ourselves why can't we cast out demons in fact, when you talk of deliverance prayers in this church, people think you are Pentecostal. And that is why the devil has found an inroad into our church. Our people are suffering quiet. They don't even want to talk about what is going on in their families because they are Adventists. I mean, these things don't happen in Adventist churches. Demons are not handled by some mere prayers that we do out of convenience. They don't. The only way to deal with evil spirits, the only way to gain access into the realm of the spiritual and the fight forces of darkness is through prayer and fasting. Now, there are things that only fasting can solve. There are things only fasting can solve, nothing else. You will try your whole life, nothing. On the day you attempt fasting, they will go. There are things psychologists can never solve. I'm sorry if this hurts someone. There are things psychologists cannot solve. I was handling a situation and this young girl insisted that we stop looking at it spiritually and told me, Pastor, what if it is not spiritual, it is physical? I told her, no problem. Look for a psychologist. We'll give you the physical approach to this warfare. There are things psychologists cannot handle. There are things counselors cannot handle. There are things mentors cannot handle. There are things doctors cannot handle. There are things even lawyers in the corridors of justice cannot handle. There are things family meetings cannot handle. They can only be handled by fasting. Only fasting can handle them. Friends, casting out demons according to the Bible is one of the signs that will follow believers. Luke chapter 16 verse 17 says, And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. Now friends, in the early church, casting out demons or deliverance service was not the focus of the gospel ministry. And today too, I think, it should not be our focus to be chasing out demons in church houses and everywhere. That should not be the focus of the gospel ministry. Jesus told his disciples in Luke chapter 10 verse 20 not to be happy because demons obeyed them. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. So you see, friends, this verse actually shows us that the focus of the gospel ministry or let me say the focus of Christianity is not to chase out demons and be happy practicing or doing deliverance service. But the focus is to preach the gospel of salvation through Christ Jesus and also to preach repentance. Now, what is happening is that chasing out demons has become the main focus of some Christian churches. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
What is your name? Anger. Anger. Uh, anger. Anger. Put your hands up. One, two, three. Your hands up. I command your shoes on fire. Shoes on fire now. Fire. Lift your hands up. Lift up your hands or I'll increase the fire. Hallelujah. <laughs> Leave her and never return. Leave her and never return. In the name of Jesus. She's free. So you saw that friends, now in the SDA church, deliverance service or performing miracles is not our focus. Instead, our focus is to preach the gospel of salvation through Christ Jesus and also to preach repentance. But friends, that does not mean that in the SDA church, we do not do deliverance service. We do, but that is not the main focus of the church. You know, the devil is actually using these miracles and uh, deliverance services to deceive many people, even in the Christian churches. One truth that I want to share with you is that, yes, Satan exists. Yes, demons are there. But if we build good relationship with Jesus, demons or satan will not have power over us because we are god's children 1 john 4 verse 4 says you are of god little children and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world so i think as a church or as adventists we should be very careful about chasing out demons in the church if we take our personal devotions and prayers seriously and also if we avoid doing evil and take our worship seriously in fact the devil is going to be afraid of us so what i want to say is that the spirit of the lord is in the sda church and god does miracles miracles of deliverance miracles of healings and other miracles also in the sda church but performing miracles is not the focus of the church now let's move on to our next story during the pride month friends adventist health which is an institution owned by the sda church posted this on their twitter page whole person healthcare starts with honoring what makes you uniquely you this pride month we continue to care for our wonderfully diverse community inspiring health wholeness and hope for everyone because we are all made for more love and not only that they also added images that promote lgbt lifestyle now friends some people reacted to this post on twitter and said what exactly are you honoring about the uniqueness of individuals this pride month their homosexuality as an organization do you want to see more homosexual and lesbian love as the images you have shared depict and friends adventist health also came to defend what they did with these words they said our mission to live god's love calls us to serve each member of our community with open hearts that's why respect dignity and compassion are essential components of how we deliver care we are grateful to have a diverse group of associates physicians patients and neighbors so i asked myself who is the person handling the twitter page of adventist health and it looks like there are some people in the sda institutions or in the sda churches that are aggressively promoting lgbt lifestyle this is so serious but friends end time events are not only found outside of the church they are also found in the church so friends when we see some of these things happening in the church and in sda institutions 
we should understand that we are in the end times the end is near so the faithful should hold fast their faith and keep praying to the lord all right friends this is all that i had for you today and for more stories do well to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any video we publish thank you for watching my name is bro lawrence and see you next time